most welcome to Historia Spanorna, History Reconnaissance, and the World Fair in New York, 1965, presented by the Sinclair Oil Corporation, and it's very much 1965, and sometimes more Sinclair than fair. Well, you be the judge of that, and please, like, share and subscribe, it means a lot to us. It's the biggest, they say, the most beautiful, the most awe-inspiring, the most colorful, the most spectacular event of this era. the New York World's Fair is the greatest. That's what people have said. Your friends, your neighbors, your own customers, who by the millions have responded to that old folk song invitation of Hi Ho, come to the fair. And have they ever come? Look at this World's Fair parking lot at the fairgrounds. 10,000 cars, count them. What state are you from? What city or town? Look around, and you'll find license plates of cars from every state in the country. But even before leaving the huge parking area and starting on the trip through the fair, a familiar name greets the visitors. And below the name, the most advanced in ultra-modern service stations, designed and built by Sinclair, especially for the World's Fair. The eye-catching circular station is surrounded by three circular pump islands. Each island has two orbiting satellite gasoline pumps and a central customer service cabinet. Pumps roll to the customer's car as if by magic. This marvel is a first in the oil industry. A world of wonders by Sinclair, the exclusive retail supplier of all petroleum products sold at the World's Fair. Every day, thousands of motorists view this novel service feature. Some, your own customers. Some, the same motorists who pass your station every day. When they get home, they remember the name Sinclair. They remember the fast, courteous service. The idea is to get them to stop in at your station for more of the same. This World's Fair parking lot accommodates 10,000 cars a day. And any time you have 10,000 cars in one place, there are going to be service problems, all kinds. Including this. A motorist in need is a Sinclair service opportunity indeed. That's why fast, efficient Sinclair help is always ready just around the corner. Thanks to special service facilities throughout the parking areas. 25 service telephones connect directly with Sinclair service. Calls for help are answered promptly by a specially equipped service car. This is another example of the kind of service Sinclair is telling motorists at the fair to expect wherever they see the name Sinclair. Across the fairgrounds, there's another 10,000 car parking lot. Here too, a Sinclair service station welcomes travelers from all parts of the nation to the excitement of the fair. Incidentally, the fleet of more than 300 buses that takes motorists from parking lots to the fair gates also uses Sinclair products. The New York World's Fair. Something for everybody. And wherever you turn, something of awe, interest, excitement, and wonder.
The millions of people who have already visited this wondrous fair dedicated to industry, understanding, and peace are a glowing tribute to the compelling magnetism of the fair. But not everybody comes to the fair by car. One of the outstanding features of the World's Fair is this modern marina, the largest on the eastern seaboard, equipped to handle a thousand boats at regular berths and at the many offshore moorings. In addition to private boats, visitors also come by speedy hydrofoils. These run on a regular schedule from New York City. A feature of this marina is an ultra-modern floating service station, a completely new concept in marine service designed by Sinclair. Boat customers are served the way they like to be served, at sea. Another example of pioneering by Sinclair. continue in operation after the fair is over. Another way Sinclair makes favorable impressions. Impressions on which you can capitalize at your service station. But now, on to the fair itself. Just what is it in the array of exhibits your neighbors and customers want to see most? Well, with some, it's the Unisphere. The world as it looks from 6,000 miles away. The largest model of the Earth ever built. An achievement in architecture, it's also the symbol and motto of the fair itself. Peace through understanding. Some folks head first for the exhibit where they can see the world's largest outdoor photographic prints in color. Here, 15 exhibit sections demonstrate dramatically the influence of photography on many aspects of modern life. Then there are those who are attracted to a dramatization of the history of electricity from its beginning to the mighty bang of nuclear fission. And here's the spot they head for, the General Electric exhibit. And these same people probably also take in the exhibit where the wizardry of modern chemistry is presented with entertaining showmanship. The biggest always has an appeal to some of us. And here is the world's largest electronic carillon, more than 600 bells. Our country's challenge to greatness. This theme has a special appeal to many. In the United States Pavilion, colorful presentations trace America's progress from the dramatic past to the challenge of space travel. Some visitors with a faraway look in their eyes are particularly interested in exhibits of faraway lands and places. Exhibits that through art, atmosphere, and architecture bring pieces of the world to one world's fair. Many people have a special interest in the history of transportation. Old and new. You'll find some of them watching intently the steady parade of helicopters taking off and landing on the roof of the New York Port Authority building. You'll also find them standing in line to get a tantalizing glimpse of what life will be like not too many decades from now. And at the Ford exhibit, they will enjoy a unique and exciting trip through a fantasy land of the past present and future, or you'll find them shaking their heads in awe as they view a gigantic 100-foot engine model, and again as they view a new experimental turbine power car, possibly a car of the future. Fuel, lubrication, Sinclair, of course. Thirty-four million people visited the fair in its first year. And during that year, close to six million of them visited Sinclair Dinoland. Not only are they welcome to the exhibit, but as a means of getting more closely acquainted with Sinclair dealers, each family receives a special coupon good for a free gallon of gasoline at their local Sinclair dealer station.
These are a few of the millions of car-owning, traveling Americans who will be telling their friends about the fair and about Sinclair Dinoland for years to come. Sinclair Dinoland in a prime location surrounded by titans of American industry. One of the most popular exhibits of the New York World's Fair. A world of wonders that flourished 200 million years ago. A vanished world, recreated by Sinclair. Youngsters and adults alike stand in awe of a world that was. Here too, there are interesting favorites. The ponderous Trachodon, 32 feet long and 14 feet high. 1,500 teeth, and not a single cavity. Tyrannosaurus, king of the tyrant lizards. Not much on looks, maybe, but popular with many visitors. 50 feet from tip to tip, 20 feet high. Fiercest creature that ever lived. A real mean kid. With six-inch daggers for teeth, he was the terror of his neighborhood. Triceratops, sort of a 30-foot walking battering ram. That skull measures seven feet. The miniature of Brontosaurus is one of the highlights of Dino Land. Visitors make their own souvenirs. This has helped make it a favorite. In fact, Dino is the most popular souvenir sold at the fair. And there is still another year of great promise ahead of us. Another year of opportunity during which Sinclair's many activities at the World's Fair will create a favorable image for the Sinclair name and for the 25,000 Sinclair dealers who sell the finest petroleum products to the motoring public. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.